Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield have been met by a vast number of complaints over the past few days after they were pictured visiting the Queen Lying In State after avoiding the lengthy queues to do so. The This Morning duo attended the historic event in a professional capacity according to the ITV show but it sparked debate amongst some that they had queue jumped, especially as some members of the public had been waiting over 14 hours to pay their respects. Their visit was also brought up on breakfast with Eamon and Isabel on Monday morning as the GB News hosts discussed the latest news surrounding the Queen's funeral. Alongside guests Don Neesom and Christopher Biggins, Eamon Holmes and Isabel Webster discussed the historic day ahead as millions prepare to say farewell to Her Late Majesty. But after GB News guest Don said everybody had come together in a unified effort to pay their respects, Eamon brought up his former This Morning colleague's trip to visit the Queen lying in state. Except not everyone came together, begins, Eamon chimed in, taking a swipe at Philip and Holly. He added, there's been a lot of outrage at the ITV This Morning presenters. Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby, who went their separate ways, what do you think of the reaction to them? Well, I think it was a very silly move by them and their PR people, you know, to make this happen, Christopher weighed in. He ranted, people had queued for hours and hours and hours and you can't have people queue. What's the word? Queue jump, Don cut in as Christopher continued, that's it, I knew there was a word, queue jumping. You can't have it. I was in Plymouth all last week doing a show for the 40th birthday of the theatre and I desperately wanted to go so we came up yesterday from Plymouth on the train to the queue and they closed the queue. So I wasn't fortunate but that's what life is. You can't, I mean David Beckham. David Beckham was wonderful, what a man. He queued and I know lots of other famous people who queued, my friends Anthony and Georgina Andrews queued and he's not well. You do these things for your country and for the Queen. They were out of order, I think, very much so. Later in the show, Eamon took another dig at Holly and Philip when Isabel teed up the introduction for one of their guests. After the papers, we do have a really interesting guest who suffered that cue and they were not of any insignificant age, we'll be talking to them after this, Isabel continued before Eamon cut in, what, Holly and Philip, Dawn, Christopher and Isabel all let out a laugh as Isabel planted a cheeky slap on her co-host's arm. This morning released a statement, however, defending Philip and Holly's visit to the Queen lying in state. It read, Hello everyone, we would like to clarify something. We asked Philip and Holly to be part of a film for this Tuesday's program. They did not jump the queue, have VIP access or file past the Queen lying in state, but instead were there in a professional capacity as part of the world's media to report on the event. An ITV spokesperson also released a statement which read, This morning had press accreditation and like other media, Philip and Holly were escorted to work from the press gallery by government staff. They did not file past the Queen's coffin. They were there alongside a host of other broadcasters and national press outlets for an item that will be broadcast on Tuesday's show. Any allegations of improper behavior are categorically untrue, 